Ladies and gentlemen, once again, you're welcome. Today, we are going to see ECG or electrocardiogram and its waves, PQRST waves in details. Thank you. So I give you a warm welcome once again. Uh, my name is Mr. Shadrach Habumuremi. So today I'm going to show you PQRST waves in full. These are the things that you will expect when you are done with recording the ECG. Good. So let me draw. Okay, this is a electric line. Here there is no wave at all. Then we start with one wave. P wave. There is another one that goes down here. Good. This is how the ECG look like. P Q R S T waves. That is what we are going to see today. So, on this drawing, you wonder what is where is P? The first wave is a P. We call it a wave because it deviates from the isoelectric line. It goes up. So this dome, the first dome, the dome-like part of the ECG is called a wave. This is P wave. Mm -hmm. So there is another here called Q wave. This downward deviation or downward wave is Q wave. There is ARA. The one from here upwards. This is ARA wave. The downwards here, the down wave is S wave. And this one is T wave. You see clear. P, Q, R, S, T wave. Good. And you wonder, what are these things? What do they stand for? What does P stand for? What does, what does Q stand for? What does R stand for? S or T? You remember within the conduction system of the heart, we mentioned the first part of the conduction system of the heart is SA node. When SA node is the one that generates the impulse, we will see P wave. And when SA node generated the impulse, the atria contracts, which means P wave exists when the atria contracts because of the SA node impulse generation. Good. Then this P wave represents what we call atria, atrial depolarization. P wave. Atrio depolarization. Atrio depolarization. When there is depolarization, there is contraction. Good. Then QRS complex. We say they are complex because it's a combination of more than one wave. QRS complex represent ventricular depolarization. QRS ventricular ventricular depol depolarization. Good. Then the last one, this T wave, represent ventricular repolarization. 
ventricular recoralization. Ventricular recoralization. Ventricular repolarization. Depolarization is indicates contraction. When there is depolarization, there is contraction. When there is a repolarization, there is a relaxation. So we have seen atrial depolarization, ventricular depolarization, and ventricular repolarization. But you don't see atrial repolarization. Oh, you wonder where is it? So guys, as the ventricular muscles are very big, when they contract and when there is depolarization within the ventricular muscles, so on ECG you can see atrial depolarization. I mean atrial repolarization. So normally atrial repolarization occurs within here, within this period of Q. RRS. This here, this is the area where we see atrial repolarization. Good. So atrial repolarization occurs when there is a ventricular depolarization. When ventricles are contracting the atria are relaxing so you understand now good the other part we will see like we have seen p wave q r s t but we didn't see this part between the wave and another wave actually this distance between the beginning of a wave, I mean the end of a wave and the beginning of another one, it is a segment. We call it a segment. Segment. There is PR segment, we don't mention Q. There is PR segment, PR segment. So there is another segment between S and T. We call it ST segment. And then from the beginning of a wave to the beginning of another wave, like from here, from the beginning of P to here, this is called the interval. Interval P Ara interval from here up to here ST interval. So good. So thank you very much, guys. In summary, we have seen what. P, Q, R, S, T waves are and what they stand for. So during the interpretation of the ECG, you will see that if there is no P wave, then you will think of what has happened or what has happened within the conduction system of the heart. So if you don't see like Q, R, S, you wonder what is going on. Good. If you don't see T wave, so you will try to think what is happening. Good. All we will see in the interpre uh, in interpretation at which height should be this arrow wave, or what shape should take the arrow, arrow wave, or which shape should take the P wave, so that if the shape is not the same on the ECG paper or electrocardiogram, we will know there is something wrong. That will be a wrong course, but with time we'll go through to see what will be happening within the heart, depending on what we see on an electrocardiogram.
Don't forget to please like, subscribe, and the bell.